What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Well, we're back on the, the hay wagon here. They finally cut my boards after over a year, year and a half it took them to cut it. Which, you know, I was in no hurry because I really didn't need it. But we're back working on her. And what I'm doing right now is I'm actually taking burnt motor oil that I've saved and I'm painting the wood. I'm only painting the parts that are gonna basically have a better chance of holding moisture like the flat parts on these tuba sixes and the underneath side of the tuba sixes and tuba eights I paint them. And now granted this is treated, this is treated, but I'm still doing it. <clears throat> It'll just help, you know, preserve the wood a little better and make it last longer. And that's what I'm shooting for here is making it last as long as I possibly can. So this is what I'm doing at the moment. Um, I'd like to have got all this painted, but I think I'll just, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I mean, it'll last for years as is, but I may just uh, paint it with oil and let it ride because Lord knows I've got enough of used motor oil. Try not to spill it. And I'm, I'm being as careful as I possibly can, but, you know, dropping a little here and a little there is not the end of the world by no means. Got all in there best I can. So yeah, I'm just... Painting away here. And Dudley's at my feet. Driving me bananas. Hey Dudley. So, I'll come back here in just a minute. Alright, well, you can see I'm making a little bit of progress, and I'm painting the bottom sides <coughs> of the boards just to help on uh, it rotting and stuff, because it, it'll stay damp there where it's a flat surface, and I learned a long time ago with burnt motor oil, um, I don't know if other areas of the country have it, but them wood boring bees, if you paint untreated wood with burnt motor oil, they will not bore into it. Uh, I learned that a long time ago as a kid. My father built a like a 14 by 70 shed, and uh, the boar bees was working it over, and we had a bunch of used motor oil, and uh, we went out there and painted it, and they quit boring in it, and to this day, probably 20 years later, they don't bore it in anymore. So what I'm doing is there are two different size boards. I'm doing a tube eight, tube six, tube eight, tube six, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but back here, they're all gonna have to stay tube six because these stupid screws strip out very easy. I don't know if it has to do with the type of bit I'm using. I'm using a Dewalt, which I used one yesterday, and within eight screws it busted. So it could be that. But they back out about that far and they strip out. Some of them don't even back out. Like uh, that one didn't. So I don't know. I mean, I can get them up. I can take a wedge and dri drive in here, and it'll you know, pull through the wood. I really don't want to do that because then it leaves, you know, a hole. So, I'm just going, I got one more tube of six right there. It's going to be right here and then a tube eight and the rest still have to be tube of eights to there. And it should, it should fit right in there. But the way my luck runs, it'll be a half inch too big or too small. Probably too small. It'll be my luck.
Out here, I'm gonna have a treated four by four that goes from this corner all the way to this corner. I'm gonna bolt it here. Um, anyways, I'll figure how many boards is right here. When uh, I put round bells on here, it'll tip them in like this and they'll carry better. So that's gonna be the purpose of that. These are gonna be fun to get off. Um, if I can't get them off, my first thing I'm going to do is drill this, tap it, and put a grease plug in it, grease circle, whatever you want to call it, and try to get some grease into these bearings right there. This one's fine, and the other three are fine, but that right front one, um, it'll chew out in no time. But these will be next, because this wagon's been sitting 20, 20 plus years. So, anyways... I got it all but finished. Yes, I know. Started from the wrong end, but when I did measure, I measured out right with a little bit, but stupid me did not account for cracks like this and like this one to uh, factor in that. So now I got to cut a half an inch off of this board. Now, if I'd have been a smart individual, started here and went that way, I wouldn't be doing this. But when I started there, <clears throat> these boards come up good. But these here, three of them down through here, did not. So I chose not to take these apart, and I then had some put there. So. Can you hear that? But anyways, so I just gotta, I'm going to uh, clamp it down right here, like a so, and clamp it on the other end, same way. Take my speed square, Measure every half inch and just drag it down through there and make me a line and install it. Alrighty, go ahead and laugh it up. Laugh all you want. I know. It wasn't, uh, wasn't very pretty, was it? Well, um, the grinder, just because these wheels say they're for wood, doesn't really necessarily mean you should use them for wood. The thing disintegrated on me. And I did buy the ones that says four metal and wood and uh, the chainsaw it needs a new chain I couldn't get it to stay straight so that was one of the reasons that that was all over creation and the saws all I should have just put a wood cutting blade in instead of using the metal blade but it's a pain trying to change but my plan for the grinder was to make a notch score a notch and then just take a chisel smack it it'll pop right off but well, that was my plan for that 
but it fits in there. It's just a hay wagon. That's all it is. Just a hay wagon. Doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, so next step is to paint this with the oil. And that'll be that. And put the four. I got it done. I didn't hurt myself, so that's all that matters. Word from the wise, word to the wise, whatever the saying is, is just because these cutting wheels say that they are for wood, doesn't mean you should use them for wood. This is probably made for cutting off sections. You know, like cutting that piece right there, just cutting it would work just fine. But probably for ripping, skill saw, should always use a skill saw for that, or a table saw, but I don't have one here. So, anyways, catch you here in the flip flop. We're just about finished here. Just got uh, two, four, seven more boards to paint here, and uh, we'll be done with the the oil. And it's not bubbling like it was. So I just poured out a gallon jug here. And just push it back and forth. Yeah, tell me that ain't sexy. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's done. All the next left to do is to uh, put the four before out through there and get it squared up, and uh, that'll be it. And I hate that I couldn't get that board there off. Well, I'll just come closer. See the difference? That board there was cut pretty thick. But that's okay, it's just a hay wagon. To summarize this, because it's been, been a while since uh, I had the wagon video. Um, two by twelves, two of them sandwiched together. Mommy's here. Mm-hmm. And see sandwiched together. Then a two by six on top, screwed down. And these are lag bolted together, as you can see, all the way down through there and on both sides. Um, I didn't think it needed a center brace crossways through here because that acts as it. I did that on both, <coughs> excuse me, both ends. And this is white oak. Two by eights and two by sixes. I put four screws in each of them 
and I might put one in the dead center. I don't know yet. Boy, it looks bad back there. This is all nice and pretty. All these kind of are up and down, up and down, up and down. But when I put the 4 4 on, it'll get them all straightened up. I may put um, something here to hook a ratchet strap into to go over on the other side. I don't know if it'll be too far in or what, but I'll have to measure. But if not, I'll put like a, a D-ring or something right here to strap stuff down. So, anyways, um, cost on this all together, 250 bucks, built my wagon. Now, mind you, I got a lot of stuff for free, but if you shop around and look around, you know, somebody give me the chassis of this wagon, I got a 250 bucks in a wagon to haul six, seven, eight rolls at a time, or five, four by fives. So anyways, any questions, throw them out there for me, and I'll be sure to answer them. So thanks for watching. Until next time, and as always, later.